minute strategy call with me. So this is a big offer that I'm giving you guys. So I hope you can uh, take advantage of it. So I, I can be of service to you guys who are listening. <laughs> I think that's phenomenal. Uh, not many people would do that. So uh, Didi, thank you so much for, uh, for that offer. Um, one of the, one of the things that I, I find and, and starting with what I'm doing, uh, probably not so much now, but I had four children. Uh, I still have them, but, uh, <laughs> I have four adults. <laughs> Stephen, well, that didn't, that didn't quite minute. come out right. <laughs> I've got four children, the four adult children and, you know, growing up uh, and seeing them grow up and the challenges of, of being a, a pastor and, you know, having that and then. Uh, raising four children uh it's it's a challenge and to see all that you're doing how do you how do you put it all together <laughs> wouldn't you like to know <laughs> <I would. laughs> um, you know that Stephen. that is the number one question i get on a daily basis from every single person sure. that i almost <laughs> um it's so it, it really is easy first of all i don't think about it that's the, I don't put, mm. I don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, I am very organized. So I like to call it time blocking. So I time mm -hmm. block. I am very um, accurate and detailed when it comes to my time. So uh, I know exactly what I'm going to do at three o'clock, three fifteen, maybe three sixteen. You know. <laughs> um, so it definitely takes time management and organization to be able to do everything you want to do. Um, at the same time, it takes a lot of great communication with uh, caretakers, with the husband mm -hmm. and uh, the mother-in-law <laughs> and, uh, you know, anybody who can and school teachers, all of those people. Um, just be communicative, organized, uh, time block and uh, stick to your word. I, integrity is huge in my books. So when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something and uh, I will never disappoint. So that's pretty much all in a nutshell, it, the secrets of have, how to do it all and have a balanced life. Mm. <laughs> I, yeah, no, that's, that's good because this was one of the things that I'm working on is, is my daily schedule. And I'm finding more and more that I, I do. I, I, I have to schedule not only with my nine to five uh, with, uh, with waypoints, but and doing what I'm doing for here and uh, meeting up with people and scheduling calls and things. So the, the scheduling uh, your day is very important. And it comes back to what you were saying in a part of my John Maxwell uh, training and certification was be a person of your word, be a person of integrity. Uh, because if you are and you, you're building that connection and you're a person that can be trusted, you are the person that people are going to go to when they need something. They're going to know that, you know, like, for instance, Steve Bryant has said this, and Steve Bryant's going to keep his word. I can trust him. Yes. And that's, that's where you build your clientele and where you build those connections. And, you know, if other people are asking about you and say, what about Steve? Oh, man, hey, listen, this guy is, you know, phenomenal. He can be trusted because I've had this experience with, you know, with this person. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a major thing uh, is, is that integrity. And I think, it, we're living in a world where there's not a lot of integrity. So to, yeah. to, to have that is, is certainly major. So I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the... I'm speaking uh, your the, language. What's that? I'm speaking your language. <laughs> yes, you are indeed. Yes. Um, so if... Uh, uh, one, one of the times when I was on a radio program, actually, it was last week's host, Russell Thomas, and just uh, a day before the, uh, the wildfire that we had in Fort McMurray, where the entire city was evacuated, Russell uh, was interviewing me on radio. Uh, at that time, I was the executive director of the Center of Hope, and uh, he, was, uh, he was asking me questions that I never thought would, somebody would ask me. So what, if you could tell somebody that, you know, where – where you're relatively new or, or people that know you, what is one thing that really, as you look over your life, it really stands out and there, there is one moment or one defining moment in your life, what would it be? One person in my life or one moment in my life? You could do both. Do one person in one moment. There we go. A 50-50 in my parents' uh, One person who has motivated me the most in my life is my mother. 
um, but I turned that into uh, something good for me. Um, I can, I look her and I've accepted her for who she is and who she's not um, so she's my biggest motivator my father is my hero he, I look up to him um, so much so 50 50 in terms of um, people uh, and in terms of the moment I remember my very first moment that shaped my life is um, when I was 15 years old where I was trying to fight for a music scholarship uh, my older sister proved to the family that she was worthy because she she got a full scholarship to the high school that she wanted to go to. Um, and I was that second girl who was really good at music and I was fighting for my music scholarship, but I didn't get it. And out of the three students who were fighting for it, I definitely was uh, sure I was going to be the one getting it, but I didn't get it. And there was a good reason for, I, for not getting it. Um, uh, at the end of the day, I heard from my music teacher that, Didi, uh, you were amazing in your performances. You did everything that you could, but we literally decided to give it to Katie because uh, we know that her family financial situation is really in need of the money or the, the scholarship. So that is the only reason why we didn't give it to you. Um, and I knew that uh, maybe three years later when I left the school and I kept in touch with the music teacher. So that was a huge lesson learned for me that Sometimes when uh, you don't get something, it doesn't mean you're not good enough for that something. And uh, I, I still, to this day, uh, just keep to being me and do whatever I can possibly do to uh, feel like I do the best I can. And don't get it, then it's, it's not meant to be. And, uh, and I never sweat that anymore. And I, I never stress about it anymore because I know things will fall on my lap when it's meant to be. And I'm just a happy-go-lucky girl every day waking up happy, motivated, and uh, living my life. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting to hear who, you know, people that, uh, that influence our lives. And uh, just to hear what you have to say is, is phenomenal. One of the... Uh, one of the things that, uh, as I'm thinking about people who have influenced my life, my, my father just passed away uh, back to just before Christmas. But uh, one of the things that really inspired me about dad was, uh, you know, uh, taking interest in what we took interest in. And uh, dad was a teacher. He, he taught in the school system for uh, 25 years, last three years, being a principal of the school. And uh, he, he always taught us to, you know, give our best and, you know, always give more than what was expected. Um, so it was, it has served me well over the years uh, to, uh, to put that extra effort in. Uh, so uh, again, uh, I, you know, and listening to what you had to say there, Didi is, you know, uh, work hard, be, be kind. Um, you know, as I, as I've heard this and uh, what drives you? My children right now. I mean, that's my biggest why. I I have I was brought up uh, in a really blessed life where my parents were able to give me everything that they wanted to give me in order to shape me into this woman that I am today. And I just feel like I absolutely must pay it forward, um, you know, and have my and work so hard and do so well that I can give that back to my children and the world because I am doing a lot of philanthropic stuff um but what drives me is just being able to make the money that i make and be able to share it with the world my ultimate goal i'll tell you and i'm going to say it out loud because i'm sending that to the universe and my ultimate goal is when i when i make a certain amount of money that i i have in my mind i really want to actually give scholarships out and, and scholarship is a big word in my life, as you heard earlier, that I didn't get mine. So I feel like I want to give it out. I want to be able to go to maybe just my son's school and eventually it will be all my children's school to, you know, to offer scholarships to people who are in, who don't have the means to go for education. Um, you know, I, I love education. I love teaching. And I think that that's uh, my mission in life. Uh, so now that I've started the Yes Academy, I'm starting to do that uh, for adults, but I would really love to do it for children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
That sounds wonderful. And and Dee Dee, I'm going to give some time to uh, Rydell. I could yes. talk with you. I could talk with you for hours. Uh, this is <laughs> phenomenal. And I really want to thank you for kind of a last minute coming on uh, your social media platform. One is Dee Dee at DeeDeeWong.com. That's her email. Uh, she's on Instagram at DD Wong Official, on Facebook at DD Wong Official, and uh, one uh, and and then on LinkedIn as well as DD Wong. Uh, DD, some some last words that uh, I'll talk, uh, actually I'll give you a couple things that you gave to me. The the quote or your favorite quote is this, and I absolutely love it. Is success is nothing without someone to share it with. I think that is beautiful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that quote because it, it is so true. And again, Didi, thank you so much for coming on uh, on the uh, program tonight. And uh, just uh, blessings upon you and your life and, uh, and your children as well. So thank all the best. I, I really felt that. Thank you so much, Stephen. I am so glad to be, off, uh, to be able to offer something for you guys. Thank you. Yes, and I want to bring that one, one more time that you will offer a free 15 minute strategy strategy session for free uh, workshop at the Yes Academy for those who are in Los Angeles by mentioning Coach on Fire on the emails to info at the yesacademy.com. So again, Didi, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this ends the show for High Performance Coaching with Stephen Bryan. I'd like to thank my guest, Didi Wang, for such a great interview. I just wanted to let you know, folks, that next week we will be having, if you can believe it or not, the official Royal Prince and Princess of Hawaii on our show. So I hope you're able to join in. And, uh, again, we want to thank you for what you're, uh, what you're doing out there. I hope you're listening in. And uh, if you're on Facebook, I'd like to uh, invite you to High Performance Coaching with Stephen Bryant. That's a Facebook group, and uh, would invite you to join that. And uh, just saying good night to now from Fort McMurray. Have a great evening. Take care. I can do anything. I can reach any goal today. I can do what I want. I can be what I want to be. Coach on Fire Radio.